So today I've got my delivery from HMV, which I've been waiting for. They've just re-released this on Blu-ray. Yep, the 1992 Ghost Watch. So I feel what we'll do, we'll unbox this right now. Right, so I've taken off the cellophane and uh, this is what's actually underneath. So obviously that's a separate bit. So the actual case itself looks like this, which I think that effect is brilliant. I hope that's coming up on the camera all right. I'll see the side there. And that, I like that effect on that that, that Blu-ray case. I keep trying to do this Blu-ray. But yeah, that's what's inside. So let's have a look. I did take it out. I took the cellophane already off this because I knew it takes forever to do that. So there's our DVD. It's a bit of a weird case. Is that, is that Parkinson like really blurred out there? It is, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. See, I'd have thought he would be more in the, in the lights of in silhouette like that. Okay, I don't really like that. That case, that's, that is brilliant. That, not so much. But anyway, as a design, and obviously all the special features on the back there. Tells you what's in it. A couple of documentaries. I can't wait to watch a documentary. That's a, it's, it's a recent documentary. So it'd be good to see how it's been thought about now. What's this? Like a mini booklet. Don't know if I like the way that's held together. That looks like that's gonna rip or come apart. But Ghost Watch as it happened. Short story. So this is a little booklet. It's like a little bit how the per about the person who wrote it. That Gulf War. I was about TV news reporter. That's a bit strange. It's a weird little book about. I don't know, it's just like little stories about Ghost Watch. Uh, it may not have about how it's very similar to Orson Welles' War of the Worlds. Because obviously, um, for those who don't know, Ghost Watch was a kind of like fake documentary that was put out on Halloween night. In 1992, um, that had some serious, there's one of them, serious like presenters in it at the time. It was made to look real. Um, some people, including myself at the time, being a youngster, and my family really, believed it to be real while watching it. And this, this is back before the internet, before you could Google it and all that sort of stuff. And we bought into it. A lot of people bought into it, and some people like was traumatized by. It. I mean, it was a scary show. It was very well done, brilliantly done, to the point where you. It was only right at the end when it got a bit hectic and crazy. You actually started to think, actually, this isn't real. But leading up to that, it felt very, very real, and it was like brilliantly done, brilliantly put it together. But it scared the nation and caused so many complaints to the BBC. I'm kind of planning on doing like a deep dive into it at some point and discussing um. Oh, art cards discussing sort of what happened in that because it fascinates me now and it fascinated back then because I was truly terrified as was most people in the country at that point but there we go there's that oh there's the man there's pipes I want to show these art cards first I didn't want to I don't know what that other book is pipes me saying good because that last book was a bit hmm. That's the paranormal investigator woman. There's Parkinson, old Parky himself. He was the thing that I think made it most believable because no one could believe he'd be part of Sank Fictional because he was the sort of like the definitive TV host in the UK when it comes to speaking with people. He spoke to like Muhammad Ali and he, he, he interviewed some legendary people at some fantastic interviews. Mike Smith. See, Sarah Green, who was the first one that we saw. Where is she? Her. She was a children's like TV presenter. So when I saw her, her in peril, and I was the age that was watching her program going live, that terrified me. I thought she was in all kinds of trouble. 
Then she popped up and going live like the weekend later, so it's fine. But yeah, he's the one we thought we couldn't believe would be in such a thing like this. That's why this is what he made it believable. Who he did. And then we've got Matt Smith, who was um, Top of the Pops host, I think, at the time. And then he comes and does this. But like again, it made it believable having these people. And Craig Charles, obviously, he's from Red Dwarf. And he was in Coronation Street at one point. Or oh, still is, I don't know. I don't really watch Corey anymore, but I know he's in that. But he's a legendary British actor. But very famous for, obviously, Red Dwarf, mainly. What is that? Trying to read this. Look at this. Oh, is it the script? Now, oh, is that the? It is. It's the actual script. Reporter, I've boarded it up now. This early, two blinking right. I have. The reporter, why is that? Yeah, it is the script. Oh, I'd love to. I can't wait to read through this because obviously they've changed. They will have changed bits and added things. So you've got the notes. Look, all the little notes from the um, production and stuff. Like when they're sort of adding stuff to the script. This must be actual properly, like proper photocopied bits of the script. I wonder where they got this from. So this is why I need to watch a documentary because it might come up on there, like where they get stuff like this from for this. But I love that this is in there. This is the best. I'd, you know, I'd have paid the 25 quid, I think it was, for this Blu-ray. I'd have paid just for this book. Just for this script. Wow. So I'm trying, I'm, trying, I'm reading this. Now I'm fascinated by this. I want to read it myself. I'm doing this video and I'm trying to like read the book. Wow. But yeah, this is the this is the proper script. It's the full script. And all the little notes for it. Oh wow, like the screenplay. I think got a little um storyboarding. Toys floating, crash, zoom. Wow. Now this this is phenomenal. I'm so pleased about this. Yeah, that that right there is is worth buying this Blu-ray for. I'm gonna literally read that page to page. Fantastic. Right. Okay. So just based on this, the actual packaging, all that, I love this. The art cards, I don't think are that great. It's not my style of sort of art. Obviously, it goes with the. DVD pack or Blu-ray packaging and all that. It does match that. But I'm not really going to do anything with those. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, look at that. I'm not so keen on that cover. I don't think it's very good. There's the disc. What? you got a... Rever oh! See, now I'm happy. It's a reversible cover. I haven't seen this... I also have a DVD, uh, video, video, there you go, so I'll look what, of Space Jam had a reversible cover. And the second cover was much better, much like this one. So if I do this. That is a much better cover, isn't it? I'm so glad you could do that. There we go. See, that's much better. I should have kept that on the front. But there we go. Anyway, so yeah, fantastic box set. Well worth the money. So I'm going to read through these two books as well. And then I'm going to do a little review on the sort of... I mean, I'm not going to re review on Ghostwatch itself, because that's coming late. I'm going to do a proper deep dive on Ghostwatch at some point. Really sort of get into what happened and all that. But I'm going to watch the documentaries on this DVD before doing that. And I'll probably review, maybe on this video, like what I thought of the documentaries... I might even do a combination of this and the thing. But yeah, this is basically just an unboxing. But yeah, this is phenomenal. I cannot wait to get into the... Uh, the the um, All the documentaries on there. 
30 year anniversary documentary which is what I really that's why I can't wait to watch that and commentaries as well yeah this is going to be phenomenal and I cannot wait to get stuck in to ghost watch again I do already have the uh, the DVD, but when I saw the Blu-ray was coming out with a documentary, that's all I knew, it was coming with a documentary. But that is great. Right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing. I hope you can rush out and buy it yourselves. And I'll see you guys soon for a bit more in-depth analysis on this. Like and subscribe. Please. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.